one's a little tricky because uh, this one's mostly time. So it's uh, having to find all the fabric, all the proper fabric for everything. Finding like photos of kind of the sites straight on is kind of difficult with the animation. You gotta rewind it and stop it to get to the right part. Hardest to find might have been this belt section here. There's a lot of them that don't look super great out there, but this is probably the hardest part. Uh, it's kind of easy to find a costume. There's lots of anime stuff online. Uh, maybe the boots, I'd say, would be the hardest to source. I have to say the whole body armor. I think it was about like two, 250, and the rest was, wasn't that, all that expensive. The mask was like about 87, 88 dollars. My costume is actually pretty cheap. It's mostly thrift store fabric that I dyed myself. The helmet, it was like 150. We had the devil of a time finding a copy of Gilderoy Lockhart's Magical Me, the, the cover of the book. Had a hard time finding it flat so we could print it flat so it would look proper. For me, it's the arm. It's the most expensive part and the jacket. The jacket is completely custom made to my frame and movie screen accurate. Same with the arm. The arm is uh, completely fitted to my body and molded pretty much. So that's why it's so expensive. The structure for the points and things. Uh, that was the most difficult part to figure out. It's actually interlocking garage floor mats. The most expensive piece would probably be the actual face for Rocket. Uh, I wanted to try and get it as close to the movie as possible and I worked with a couple of great studios, Beastworks Effects, and uh, they really pulled it off for me in the end. The hardest part of the costume is probably the face shell and the lenses. Mine was pretty cheap. I just got like a roll of foam which was like $40 US and made most of it. Um, the breastplate is, this part is made of um, warbler. I'd say the warbler. The warbler was the most expensive for me. I used probably about four or five sheets. They're about a about hundred bucks a sheet. Like I think the horns were the hardest part to make. I had to figure out how to make them light and sturdy at the same time. So it's like, I made a base of tin foil and wrapped it in model magic and then sealed it with something to make it hard. Like most people, my most expensive piece is the suit. Followed up not that far behind by the mask. Most expensive with the mask. We don't make these masks actually, they're made by uh, professionals. These things, there's a couple companies online that sell them, but there's not too, too many. And uh, finding the one that fits your face, has the proper shape and look that you're looking for, that's kind of hard to do. So, lucked out on this one. I'm not sure, probably the corset, right? Yeah, the corset was probably the most expensive. The gun was yeah. probably the most work. Finding a good kind of looking gun that you can make into a prop, doesn't look too much like a water gun, cartoony, that kind of thing. That was the hardest to kind of find the right piece. Not being able to find any reference, like other people's uh, tutorials, so it's all on my own. The cape? The horns. It took a long time to find this color blue in the summer as well. It's actual fur. Like, it's fur and a bed sheet, actually. It was hard to find something that would suit it because I didn't want to get, like, fun fur. But I got it from Value Village. But it was worth it.